Hello friends, this is Dr. Shashi Agarwal. I welcome you all. Today is our subject is business studies, part plus one commerce, and our topic is sole proprietorship. Uh, under the topic, we are going to cover what is the meaning of sole proprietorship, definition of sole proprietorship, what are the preconditions, what are the benefits, suitability, uh, limitation, and it's written out, they will be available under free study material at my app, Addison app. Uh, so this is my app, Addison app, which is relevant for the student of commerce, economics and management, which you could download very easily from the Google Play Store. This is my WhatsApp number, 79731-79091. Uh, this app is relevant for commerce, economics and management. Many courses related to commerce, economics, management, they have been uploaded at this app. The methodology is through live lectures, recorded lectures, descriptive as well as summarized notes will be shared with the students students doubt session will be there and the test series will also be there so what is sole proprietorship he can be called sole proprietor or the organization can be called individual proprietorship or we could call it single entrepreneurship it is as old as the civilization here the one person he takes the initiative he set up his his own business, he makes his own investment and he takes the responsibility of the success and failure of the sole proprietorship. He organized the business and everything is looked after by that person. He takes all the decision himself because he's the owner also, he's the manager also. So he controls everything himself. Uh, it's a sort of family business where other members may help him. Even he could take the help of a few employed, a few salaried person. He may employ the servant for his help, but decision-making will be done by that person who starts his own venture. And the risk is also remain with the owner. The success and failure of the business depends upon the intelligence of that person, the competency of that person, and the management skill and the decision-making capacity of that person who takes, who sets up the business as a sole proprietorship. So what are the preconditions when we want to start the business uh, in the form of sole proprietorship? Uh, because here the one person is taking the initiative under sole proprietorship, it does not require any license or permission from the authorities. In few business, uh, we require the authority or permission that has to be taken from the competent authority. Like when we are setting up the sole proprietorship, we uh, should have current account. Uh, we should have uh, goods and services uh, tax GST number. We should have a hard card. We should have PAN number. Uh, so uh, when we are setting up the sole proprietorship, uh, does not require many uh, formalities. It's very easy to form. Uh, the only condition is the person who's setting up the business, he should be major. Like in India, if you want to set up the business as a sole proprietorship, he should, he, it should have the attain, he or she should have attained the age of 18 years in India. And here the business could be started immediately, even it could be finished very easily. In the joint stock company, it's a legal business. It's a, uh, sorry, it's a, uh, it has to be, it has, it, we have to do many, uh, we have to complete many legal formalities. Even if we want, if we want to end the business, uh, that is also through some uh, legal procedure. But in the case of sole proprietorship, it can be even wound up without observing any legal formality. L.A. Cheney has defined the individual entrepreneurship is the form of business organization. The head is individual, who's responsible, who gives the direction for handling the operation, and he bears the risk of the management of that business. James Stephenson has defined the sole trader business. He's a person who carries on the business exclusively himself, for himself. He's not only the owner of the capital, but he's also organizer, manager, and take all the profit, if any, and also take the responsibility for the losses. A sole trader business, it is owned by one person. It is set up at the initiative of one person. Like we, like I want to open boutique. I could open boutique. I could open beauty parlor. I could set up a grocery store that is in the form of sole proprietorship. 
Here the owner invests the capital and the decision making is done by that person and he's having the responsibility of management of that business. So the profit and losses belong to him. All the risk and responsibility is borne by that one person. All the activity of the business, they are guided and controlled by that one person. Even the liability here, unlimited. What is the meaning of unlimited liability? Like I am having a business which has a loss of 2 lakh, but my property, uh, business property is only of 1 lakh. So 1 lakh of personal asset will be utilized for, uh, for that, those uh, business liability. So there's no difference between the business and the sole trader. They are the same thing. He cannot add person to his business. If he's adding the person, the status will change with the partnership. He, he can take the help of the salaried persons. Uh, what are the features of sole proprietorship? It is the uh, individual ownership because it is the owned by one person. Uh, there are no business associate or agents. Uh, there's no difference between the sole proprietorship and business. They are the same thing because uh, the sole proprietorship has a uh, unlimited liability. The owner is responsible for all the losses which are arising from the business. Even its personal asset could be utilized for meeting the uh, business obligation. As here, he's getting the individual motivation. If we work hard, we'll get more profit and they will belong to him. He has not to share with anyone. So there is a link between the ownership and control. There is no separation between the ownership and control. The owner controls the business himself. He takes all the decision, and all the risk. Uh, they, they are uh, they are borne by the sole proprietorship. Uh, present ownership is linked to the lifespan of the proprietor because if proprietor exists, the business exists. If the proprietor does not exist, the business will not exist. Here, the capital will be supplied by the proprietor himself. And uh, it could be easily formed. There is no legal formality for setting up a business. There's no need of registration, uh, but the business could have a limited operation. Resources and management capability under sole proprietorship is very limited. So what is the legal position of the sole proprietor? There's no specific law. Like we want to set up a business, then we have partnership act. If we want to set up a limited liability partnership, then there is another act, a joint stock company for company act. But when we are setting the business as a sole proprietorship, there is no such law. The business will subject to the general laws of the land. If we are setting up sole proprietorship in India, then we have to follow the general laws of the India. The sole proprietor and his business, they are one and same. The business exists with the sole trader. If he does not exist, the business will no longer exist. The liability of the sole trader is unlimited. Uh, this business is suitable where the capital requirement is very limited because here the uh, sole proprietor depends on his own resources. He cannot raise much funds from the market because of his limited capacity. Uh, uh, this business could be uh, done where the market is local. Uh, like the retailing business, in, it, it, it is in the hands of sole traders. Uh, this business is suitable where uh, we have to make a contact with the customer, like trailing business, even the boutique business, even the beauty parlor business, where the contact with the customer is very essential. Even uh, when the goods are of artistic nature, the sole proprietorship business is also suitable. Uh, the business where the, we need the good decision, that is also sole proprietorship is suitable. So what are the benefits, merits? Is It's easy to form. This is the only form of organization where legal formalities are very limited. And business is totally free from the legal formalities. And one man is responsible for all the type of activities. So he could control his business in better way. Okay, he could take the decision at the appropriate time. And the authority and responsibility lie with the one person. And the business is to be run on a short, a small scale. So if there is a change, uh, he could take uh, he could take the decision immediately and do that changes. Uh, he could maintain the business secret because he's the owner and controller of the business. He does not have the uh, he does not have to share the business secret with anyone. And individual entrepreneur is also able to create goodwill for the business, so he will be able to raise the funds. 
So here is a direct motivation. So he takes a keen interest in the working of the business uh, because if he will be doing the hard work more, so he will be getting better return. And he could take the decision very quickly. Uh, he is having the links with the consumers. He could know the reaction and the preference of the consumer. The sole owner is the owner, manager, and controller of the business. It does not require any experts, so it's a very inexpensive management. There are no legal restriction, and it is also socially desirable because the business is run on a small scale basis. Uh, it also uh, why it is set because uh, for the purpose of self employment. Here he will be having direct link with his employees uh, because uh, he will generate the goodwill and he will get the reward for generating the goodwill. So what are the limitations? Here the individual has a limited capacity because the business, the success of the business is linked to the personal capacity of that person. So he, he, he cannot think a broader way. Uh, in the partnership where there are many persons in the joint stock company, the ownership and management is different hands and the companies are run by the experts. So here the uh, business uh, is run by one person. So that one person has a limited capacity. Even the sources will be limited. He tried to raise from the relative and friends while taking loan from the financial institutions. He has to deposit the security. They, again, they are very limited. So limitation of finance is a major harder for setting up sole proprietorship. He will be having limited managerial ability. One person may not be expert in each and every function. He has to depend upon the paid employees and the decision-making managerial ability is also maybe very limited. The liability is unlimited. In for business laws, his personal property could also be utilized. And the business success or business continuity depend upon the existence and continuity of sole proprietorship. And the business also has a limited scope for the expansion.